Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through DQL that is nothing but data query language. So basically it is used to retrieve the records from the database guys. So this is mainly used to retrieve the data from the database. If any modification using DRL commands, it will not reflect in the database. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So basically we cannot do any modifications using DRL commands to the database. Fine. These DRL or DQL commands are only used to retrieve to get the data from the database. Okay. So now let us go through the syntaxes. So we are having four different syntaxes guys. So the first syntax, let us go through it. Select a star from table name. So here star indicates all columns, data and all records will be selected. Fine. So the second type is a select column one comma column two comma and so on from table name. So instead of this star, we can indicate the column names. So column one comma column two comma and so on from the table name. Fine. So in this way we can represent and also select a star from table name where condition. So if you want to print a particular record whose employee number is 150, then we will be using this where clause or where condition. We'll be going through where class in the next tutorial guys. Don't worry. Fine. I hope everyone got a small idea at least. Okay. So the other type will be in this where class. Select column one, column two and so on from table where condition. Fine. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea on the four syntaxes that we have discussed now. So let us take some examples. So write a query to display the employee table. So he didn't give any condition. So select a star from EMP. Simply we give. So the next question is write a query to display employee number and employee name of the employee table. So we need to dis uh, display these two things. So select employee number, employee name from EMP. So from EMP, we will be taking them. Fine. Okay. So the next query is write a query to display all employees who are working in department time. All employees, all details. So select a star from EMP where department number equal to 10. Perfect. Write a query to display employee number, employee name, salary, and who are working in 10 and 20. I told you 10. Okay, 10 or 20 guys, it's not, it will not be and because only a single guy can work in a particular department. So select these things, employee number, employee name and salary from table EMP where department number equal to 10 or department number equal to 20. Any one is true, then the records will be printed. Fine. Okay. So write a query to display the employees whose salary is between 10,000 to 3,000. So I told you in one of our tutorials, we have just gone through operators in that we used between right so we can use between also here select a star from emp where sal between thousand comma in bracket thousand thousand comma three thousand in this way we can show guys between fine okay so similarly or we can use with lesser than and greater than symbols as usually so write a query to display the employee who are working in 10th department and as an analyst so we'll be selecting all the records where the department number is particularly 10 and he is working as an analyst. Fine. So the last query is write a query to display the records who are joined in February month. So here we have, we have mentioned the particular month, right? So you need to be careful with it. So for these kind of things, we will be using the special operators guys. So I'll be discussing this in the next tutorial guys, so that we'll be understanding it clearly once we've gone through. Special operators, it will be clear for you. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.